Okay, everybody. Uh, right now, I'm going to teach you how to do the activity um, for digital manufacturing called the 3D Cartesian Coordinate System. Um, this is on day three, so uh, you're going to need this document from day three. You're also going to need this here. You're going to end up cutting that out, so you'll need some scissors to go along with that, as well as a marker that you can erase. Um, and this fun little Cartesian coordinate plate. All right, so once uh, you have this, you're going to go ahead and cut it out, and then you're going to fold where it says fold, and then you'll end up making what this. This will be what you end up making uh, once you fold it where it says B. This is going to be, this says base, so this is going to be on the, on the uh, table. And here, I'll try to angle this down so you can see a little bit better of what I'm doing here. Alright, so on the paper, you can see it gives you these planes. So it gives you a point A. So a column over here for point A. So X, Y, and Z coordinates for point A. You'll see on here that it has point C, B, A, if I find it, right here. So point A should, of that cube, should be on these points here. So point A, you're going to go for number 1, X should be on 4, Y should be on 5, Z should be on 0. So if we go over here, point A, X, 5, so I'm going to have to flip this around, so I place that on the x-axis at 5, so x5, y, no I'm sorry, x4, y5, so I go down 4 over 5, and then z is 0, so if you can kind of see where I'm at, z is 0. So obviously Z is up and down, so it's at zero, so it's not going to go anywhere. So X4, X down 4 over 5 for Y, and I Z0. So I place my dot on here, and I'm going to mark that as A. I know that this cube, the A, which is right here, needs to be placed on that position. Now. For question one, it tells me where point B should be as well. So it says B4, Y1.75. So for point B, it should be at X, or I'm sorry, X4, so down 4, over 1.75. So each, all right, and then Z0. So I put my XY there, and that is where point B should be. Now look, it wants to know if A is here and B is here. So I place A and B at those points. Where is my C and D? Well here, I can put a mark where C is, where the cube is actually pointing down. And then I can take a ruler or something flat, um, I guess I, I forgot, and figure out how high point D is. So. D is at X at Z3. Z3. Alright, so C, D. So C and D is what I need to solve for. So C, if I have these lined up correctly, and I put my dot, D lined up correctly, and I put my dot. Okay. So now I'm going to mark D and C. So to fill in the paper, 